Good morning, everybody. It's a great pleasure to be with you here in Madden Park for this uh, spring session of our Broadband Commission. I want to begin by thanking His Excellency, our President, Mr. Porokagami of Rwanda, for being with us today. Everybody has known how instrumental our co chairs have been in leveraging digital technology as a force for good in the world. Let me also thank Facebook, Kevin Martin and uh, Dr. Pepper for the warm welcome and for hosting us here in the heart of uh, Silicon Valley, a beacon of innovation around the world. Today we are joined by three special guests. If I could have the uh, name correct, it's uh, Mr. Todd Fox uh, from uh, Visa, and uh, Mr. Alan Fritzler from uh, LinkedIn, and of course, my dear colleague, uh, UNICEF Executive Director, Harita Foye. Welcome. I'm very pleased to have Executive Director Foye here because she has been a tireless champion for economic development, education, health, and uh, humanitarian assistance. And because there's a lot that IT and UNICEF can do together from protecting and empowering children online to giving them the digital skills they need for the job of, of tomorrow. So distinguished colleagues, we are in the midst of a digital revolution. Take 5G, for example. Countries are racing to build 5G networks. 2019 marks the launch of a commercial 5G services in South Africa. S sorry, South Korea. South Africa, not yet. <laughs> the US, Qatar, and elsewhere. We meet at one of those defining moments a moment when more than half of the world's population now uses the internet for the first time in history. This is a moment of challenge and opportunities. At our last uh, plenary potentiary conference last November held in Dubai, IT member states came together around the strong decisions promoting universal access and the positive force of digital transformation. They give ITU a new strategic plan with bold and ambitious targets for the next four years. Objectives that reflect the targets of the commission. I'm confident that this tool will help us accelerate the progress towards the sustainable development goals. But as we meet today here, let's remember that too many people around the globe are still waiting for to reap the benefits of the digital economy. The unconnected often live in poor areas or in areas that are difficult to reach. I was stuck, I was struck to see that none of the children of a primary school I visited last September in a mountain area of Lesotho had ever touched a computer. Keeping in mind that fact that this country announced the first 5G service by the end of August 2018, while the primary school is all about 100 kilometers away from their capital. To bring these children and everyone else online, we will have to redouble our efforts, all of us together, across industries and sectors. And that is why creating an attractive environment for investment in digital infrastructure must be one of our top priorities. Future networks like 5G and other emerging technologies are set to play a pivotal role in the digital economy. Our task is to ensure that they can benefit everyone, everywhere. To that end, the IT World Radio Conference, Radio Communication Conference 2019 to take place in Xiamashink next October 
and November will be critical. This much anticipated conference will identify and allocate global harmonized spectrum and finalize the 5G technical standards. It will be an opportunity for all of us to come together to make decisions that will impact the deployment of 5G and other game-changing technologies that hold great potential for human progress. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate Korea Telecom for their launching the national-wide 5G commercial services in beginning of this uh, month. Ladies and gentlemen, the spring meeting is always a very productive meeting for the commission, a working meeting where we can share views and debate frankly and openly, and I encourage you all to do that. But first, let me thank the commissioners who financially contributed this year to support the work of the commission and the secretary. So we have uh, Dr. Nessa Marafi from uh, Oredo, Dr. Changui Huang, CEO of Korea Telecom, Mr. Chuck Rubings, Chairman and CEO of Cisco, and Mr. Liang Kang Tai of uh, IMDA Singapore. And also, we have uh, sponsorship from our co chair, Mr. Slim. I hope many others will follow their example. Finally, next year we will celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Broadband Commission. We will soon be launching a two months consultations on proposals for the celebration. It's an opportunity to showcase the impact of the Commission on improving people's lives. So I look forward to your proposals. And with that, uh, I wish you all a very productive and uh, fruit, fruitful meetings.